Denver, Colorado, the 1st of November, year of the Depend adult undergarment. I hate this! Orin yells out to whoever glides near. He doesn't loop or spiral like the showboats. He sort of tacks, the gliding equivalent of snow plowing, unspectacular and aiming to get it over ASAP and intact. The fake red wings nylon platters in an updraft. Ill-glued feathers keep peeling off and rising. The updraft is the oxides from Mile High's thousands of open mouths. Far and away the loudest stadium any place. He feels like a dick. The beak makes it hard to breathe and see. Two reverse ends do some kind of combined barrel roll thing. The worst is the moment right before they make the jump off the stadium's rim. Hands in the top rows reaching and clutching. People laughing. The interlaced cameras panning and tightening. Orin knows too well the light on the side that means zoom. Once they're out over the field, the voices melt and merge into oxides and updraft. The left guard is soaring up instead of down. A couple beaks and a claw fall off somebody and go pinwheeling down toward the green. Orin tacks grimly back and forth. He's among those who steadfastly refuse to whistle or squawk. Bonus or no. The stadium's loudspeakers, a steely gargle. You could never hear it clearly, even on the ground. The sad old ex-quarterback who now just holds on place kicks falls in beside Oren's slow back and forth, about 100 meters over the 40. He's one of the token females, his beak blunter and wings red non-garish. Hate and loathe this with a cluster fucking passion, Clayt! The holder tries to make a resigned wing gesture and is almost blown into Oren's pin feathers. Almost down! Enjoy the ride! Yo, cleavage check in 22G, just by the... And then lost in the roar, as the first player touches down and sheds the red-feathered promotional apparatus. You have to scream to even be heard. At some point it starts sounding like the crowd's roaring at its own roar a doubling back quality like something will blow. One of the Broncos in the rear end of a costume takes a header at midfield so it looks like the thing's ass went flying off. Oren has told no cardinal, not even his team's counselor and visualization therapist, about his morbid fear of heights and high-altitude descent. I punt! I'm paid to punt long, high, well, and always! making me do personal interviews on my personal side's bad enough. But this crosses every line. Why do we stand for this? I'm an athlete. I'm not a freak show performer. Nobody mentioned flying at the trade table. In New Orleans, it was just robes and halos, and once a season, a zither. But just once a season. This is fucking awful. Could be worse. Spiraling down toward the line of X's and the bill-capped guys that help strip the wings off. Runty, pot-bellied volunteer front office connected guys, who always smirk in a way you couldn't quite level the accusation. I'm paid to punt. It's worse in Philly. Had fucking water drops in Seattle for three seasons. Please, Lord, spare the leg, Orrin whispers each time just before touchdown. Of how you could be an oiler. You could be a brown.